Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. I'll be honest with you, man. Uh, you don't push me in the mind of somebody that could have got jumped by the world class wrecking crew. Oh, you gonna That's, be, listen, so man. you going to hit me back <laughs> with that one, <laughs> I don't see how that happened. I seen the pictures, nigga. Uh, EZ put them up, nigga. Yo, yeah, I don't see that happening. Not with the nigga that I met today over here. So, so tell me, is that uh, I, again? I seen that on Spliff. I'm gonna give him another little, old, you know, shameless plug. You know, Spliff D. I see, I see Spliff D. Uh, the, how, did that really happen? Is that a real thing? Yeah, man. I didn't listen to the videos. I wanted to get it from you. Let me, let me give it to you right quick. Then check this out again. Um, I was introduced to a club, Eve After Dark was one of the biggest clubs in L.A. at the time. They broke hip-hop in for us in our era. Shout out to my boy Lonzo Williams, yeah, man. Yeah, I to, seen him in the movie. Shout out to DJ Yellow, DJ Unknown. Yeah. You know what I mean? Dr. Dre, all my niggas, man. Shout out, man. But look, they was running the club at the time. And at this time, you know, Dre and them was so, to me, that again, I'm going to speak in my frame of mind. I ain't talking about today, but my frame of mind. Them niggas was on some fruity tootie shit. I knew you were going to say this, that. With this old glitter and, <laughs> <laughs> you know. But the songs was not bad, I, I, dude. No, no, by no, the time, no, we were coming out of disco. I'm, that's for you. <laughs> I'm a gangster. I'm a gang banger. Yeah. But we didn't know it came out yet. Ice tea and some shit that was hitting. But, with all due respect, yeah, but no, it, it hadn't came out that's yet. Why we, we didn't know. That's why we on the East Coast at that time. So now, this time, we on the niggas is hard on the East Coast with the hard rap that yeah. time. You know what I mean? So that's what we were on. Yeah. But my whole point was, when this club was developing um, Eve After Dark, okay. Eve After Dark was was centered smack dead in West Side Paru Hood, Anthos Park, Miller Gangsters, Eugene Village. My homies. It was our allies. Then, um, I'm, but but um, Lonzo didn't actually own the club because the whole corner was owned by this old cat named Jeffies. Okay. So you got the after bar for the, the adults downstairs. You know, you got the after uh, after hour bar. You got the rest slash restaurant cafe. Then it's a barber shop. Then it's an income tax place. You know what I mean? So the old man owned the whole corner of El Gondo and uh, Avalon. Mm -hmm. And so. Uh, I'm fresh out of Y.A., man, you know what I mean? <laughs> Remember I told y'all, but I was explaining about, no, this was my old talk show, but I had called my first bodies and my attempted bodies in 79, 78. I paralyzed a nigga, and that's the body that I got convicted for. Okay. You know what I mean? But I beat the other cases, you know what I'm saying? But they threw a body on me. I didn't even do that body. They threw, just threw a body on me, but I fought it and beat it. Cause yeah, they, welcome to it. That's it, how, that's yeah. how it go down. It's called, it's called Peter Pay Paul, you know, one to get the other, you know what I mean? So, anywho... I get out in 82 from doing that bid for 79. I get out in 82, and now as I'm out, I get wind. The homies is going up to this club called Eve at the Dark. Now, I ain't really no club nigga, man, because, you know, like I said, I'm on my wild shit. So I said, all right, I ventured up there and find out what's going on. So I go a few times. Now, when I first start going, I'm on my smash shit. We, you know, first of all, I don't pay no money nowhere, even right now today. <laughs> It's, if you ain't giving me a, a VIP guest, you're not giving me a guest, then if I got to voluntarily invite myself, then you're not going to like my invite. I'm walking in. That was my attitude then. So when we got there, me and my crew, it was like, what, nigga? We know, first of all, we don't get past us because, yeah, we got guns on us. We got shit, a whole lot of shit on us. Yeah. So we walk in. So I did that a couple of times, and Lonzo was like, man, who's this nigga? Man, he... So he was feeling some kind of way, like, man, what's the, he didn't, now on his story, just recently, cause he he, he clapped back to oh, what I said, ah, right? Yeah. He clapped back, but with, <laughs> with, 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 with just significant agreements, not nothing negative. Okay, but he still clapped back. Why, right, why, right, cause he knew, he remembered it. But he was like, I don't remember. He said, yeah, BJ probably got in a few times, but I don't remember all his homies giving no lines, you know goddamn well, I smashed that door every time we came and my troopers was right behind me, feel me? <laughs> So anyway, he went to hire this old nigga, this 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 nigga out the army for me, buff nigga, cause I'm gonna swallow. He go so I'm a fresh I swallow white nigga. He go get this old nigga, and the old nigga stood his ground. That's the only nigga that fought me up there that gave me, you know, put me in a position. So this particular night, like I said, this went on for a couple of months. I'm going up there, we smashing, going up there, chilling with the homies, the APBs, the West Sides. This they spot. So this particular night, I go up there. They the switch securities at the door on us. It's the sergeant. That nigga stood up there military style, chest digging up, I walk right up. Soon I get up, nigga tell me how he got a pass us, man. I got an apple hat on turned sideways. And he say, uh, it ain't no hats. I say, what? I said, nigga, you know who I am, homie? 
I said, man, I'm, and I'm going to walk past and he moved this way. I go to go, he, he do one of them. Like, oh. like, you know, like your daddy would do you, <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, like you ain't getting in. I said, nigga, no, he see, I know who you are, but he like this with his hand. I know oh, who you are. Oh, he ain't ready. Yeah. He, he ain't go, ready. He don't know, Buck. I'm a young nigga that takes flight. <laughs> and the rest of these niggas with me gonna do the same. And yeah. they don't do it before me, you feel what I'm saying? So he go, I know who you are. But everybody gets searched. So I turned around on nigga and let him just hit me a couple times. But I got my pistol tucked right here. He hit me. The homie turned around. So when he turned around, I went run up the stairs. He come hit behind me. When he come up, he's so busy looking at me. The rest of the homies, he didn't let stop patching them and he chasing me up the stairs because I go straight up the stairs, past the lady in the window, right on in. And he walked right into my head, niggas out of passing. I said, blood, get the fuck out of here with that shit, blood. Come on, get your ass out of here, nigga. Old ass sergeant arm, or whatever the fuck you is, nigga, kept walking. So we walk on around the bar and I post up by the fan where I always go. Now he didn't went back to the door real quick and then we in. This motherfucker come out of nowhere, bro. Out of nowhere. I had my hat on, man. You know, and I had it tilted to the side. I'm getting my cool pose in for a minute. All of a sudden, wow, I hit my shit to go smash. And they hit my head like this. Ah, then I say, no hats. And he did it all oh, in damn. one form. And he did it all in one form and all what, but had my hat balled up behind his head like your daddy would do. You know how your daddy said, nigga, I'm going to beat your ass and put your hat behind your back. And I'm going to say, hey, nigga. And, try, and I realized, it's this nigga. And I bent back and I. Bing, 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 hit him with a two piece. <laughs> Dropped him. That nigga come back like a gorilla. <laughs> Grab my young ass. So I grabbed him, plant my feet, and I put the Bonnie Hunter slam down on that nigga. The Bonnie Hunter slam for everybody don't know out there TV land. It's a technique we all learned is real Bonnie Hunters back in our days when you fighting a nigga. So I grabbed him, and as he putting his weight on me, I picked the nigga up with his weight, and I'm going like I'm going backwards, and I lean sideways on him and flip him. Boom, and slam his ass. <laughs> as I slam him, my relative fire on him. Bam. But that don't knock him. The nigga still up like. So he get up now, hit man on him. Boom, 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 boom. So by this time I jump up, it's cats swinging from everywhere now, right? I'm like, is these niggas with us or they against us? So by this time I say, oh shit, it's a ball out brawl because I see my little homeboy Frog running to us. As he running to us, a nigga catch Frog. It's going Bam. down. It, that's what I they said, go. Oh, it's home. These niggas trying to rush us. So now the bar is right like four to five feet from the fight started. I broke straight to the bar. I'm going to get bottles now. <laughs> I'm going to secure because there's so many of these niggas coming from everywhere. They didn't, they got so much anger building against my ass. I guess they said the night is this nigga night. <laughs> and that was my night because I didn't No, No, I take that back. Yeah, that's the same damn night. Same night because I fight on him. So I go to the bar, get the bar, get the bottles and shit. As I'm going into the bar, man, to try to get the bottles, that's when I hear the, uh, motherfucker. And I knew it was unknown because he the only tall ass nigga that wore cowboy boots back then. <laughs> you see this tall nigga come down the door, standing with the, the sergeant nigga, he's standing there with cowboy boots because he knew karate. Though, so he used to try to intimidate us back then with the karate shit. But nigga, you don't know, I, that's what I study as well, nigga BKL. Feel me? So I come up on it from nine years old. I started at Sheen Way on 103rd and Broadway. You feel me? <laughs> so he was he used to smash on us like young niggas, like try to intimidate niggas. So he wore cowboy boots. He grabbed you. No, he didn't grab me. This you saw your table or you know how you you know how they had a thing you lifted up to get in the bar? Yeah, 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 yeah. I went to go try to lift that motherfucker up and it was stuck like it was locked. So I went the stupidest thing I could have done, I ducked to go under it to get under the bar. Yeah. And them niggas was behind the bar serving. And that nigga hauled off and kicked me one in one of them old boots. Kicked me with one of them goddamn Charlie Cowboy <laughs> oh, boots, my man. Ass. Right in my eye, my forehead. And I backed up and I was dazed. I said, and somebody else caught me in the back of the head. Boom. I spent on that nigga. I'm like, boom, 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 boom. I'm just swinging. Boom, boom, boom. So now one of my other homies come down my red and pick up the slack off of me. And then here come a couple of the homegirls. And so by that time, we done made it to the door, fought our way out. Oh, you niggas know it's a wrap. Ain't no more Eve at the door. I'm burning this bitch down. <laughs> so I gave myself a good week. I'm saying we we came back retaliated. People jumping out windows and jumping off the roof and trying to get up out of there because we come through there and tow up, man. But man. true story. Shout out to the Thank world class the story, record. Man. They rat pack big cap, man. They took big cap I got, and shit on down, man. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one.